meet the gang, cause the boys are here, the boys to entertain you. With music and laughter to help you on your way, to raising the rafters with a hey, hey, hey. With songs and sketches and jokes old and new, with us about, you won't feel blue. So meet the gang, cause the boys are here, the boys to entertain you. B O B O Y S boys to entertain you. Blimey. What terrible disaster. Fate has kicked concert party in crutch and then some. <laughs> they have been posted to terrible Burma, right up the dreaded front. But oh, the poor concert party, they are ruddy, marvellous people. And are they downhearted? Yes. <laughs> Out for words. I can feel the tears coming into my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I won't be able to go on. I shall break. I know I shall break. Come on, Gloria. Pull yourself together. Use your common sense. No one's going to take us seriously as a fighting unit, are they? The British won't. The Japanese might. <laughs> <laughs> it's the end of the road for me. And the next station, I shall get off the train. And I shall commit suicide. Bombardier, King's regulations clearly state that Bombardier's is not permitted to commit suicide. <laughs> Anyways, you was not allowed off the train, so you cannot. One thing's certain, I'm not committing suicide. Neither am I. I haven't had lunch yet. <laughs> so, I'm knowing what we should be doing. We should all be singing a jolly, cheery up song like uh, Dumpty Dumpty, there will be blue bird over white cliff Shut of the Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> Dumpty Dumpty, I said, Moka, but you should sing a song. Vera Lynn. Shut up. <laughs> right, on your feet. Uh, stay where you are. We've only got about four hours to go, so I thought it was time I should put you in the picture. We are now under the command of South East Asia Command Active Service Entertainments. Known for short, S.C. Kazi. <laughs> <laughs> Do you mean we're not going to fight the Japanese? Good heavens, no. Who said that we were? The Sergeant Major, sir. I'm a little joke, sir. <laughs> the point is, we are taking the shows to the chaps who are actually doing the fighting. Will we be close up the front line? I wouldn't say all that close, would you, Ashwood? No, not all that close. No, not all that close, no. The best thing you can do, Gunnar Sagan, is to practice singing not too loud so then Japanese do not join in the chorus. <laughs> Will we be in a camp, sir? Good question, clever boy. Did you hear that, sir? Will we be in a camp? Well, not exactly. We're stationed temporarily in a village called Tin Min. How far from the Japanese? Uh, how far would you say? 10, 20 miles, Ashwood? Well, it all depends where they are at the time, sir. It's quite right. <laughs> depends where they are at the time. <laughs> what happens if we go to entertain the men who are actually doing the fighting, and when we get there, they're actually doing the fighting? <laughs> we joins in. Well, we're not really supposed to do that, you know. What sort of shows are we going to do? Little quiet ones. Shut up! <laughs> Uh, the important thing is to take the chaps' minds off the actual fighting. Colonel Saab, you should ask Sergeant Major Saab to tell the men some of his very funny ha-ha dirty jokes. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Will the bear canteen, sir? Uh, probably not. Hey, excuse me, sir. Uh, what sort of a village is Tin Min? What sort of a village is Tin Min? <laughs> Tin Min, Mr. Lardy Dark and Graham, is a village just like any other jungle village. With a lot of trees. Will it be like the new forest? Uh, no, not exactly. Uh, more a cross between uh, Torquay and Wimbledon Cop. <laughs> Eat ever so humble, there is no place like home. Oh, dear. 
to get you. <laughs> Move yourself! Take two men, search that Basha. Uh, me? Yes, you. I'll keep you covered. Oh, wouldn't it be better if I kept you covered? <laughs> get on with it. Just a minute. What are we searching for? Japanese. Japanese? <laughs> but they're supposed to be miles away. You cannot be too careful, Bobby dear. Them little yellow devils can crawl in and hide anywhere. Come on, pal. Well, go on, Peppy, too. <laughs> Shall I go too, Sergeant Major? No. Brave boy. You stay with me by right here. In reserve. First principle of military maneuvers, always have something in reserve. Nobody in there, Sergeant Major. What did you do that for? You frightened the life out of me. All clear, sir. Well, oh, good. In we go, Tap. <laughs> Sam, I think I would most enjoy living here if I was monkey. <laughs> Shut up! I see. Rum sort of place, isn't it? Hmm. Hey, are these things what they use for houses? Yes, Colonel Clark, and what is more, that is what you is going to use for houses. Excuse me, sir. How long are we going to be here? Well, it's not easy to say, but on the whole, not an awfully short time. Never mind, sir. We soon get the place brassed up. Uh, the men can sleep over there. We can uh, parade by here, and we'll make a flagpole somewhere over there. A couple of buckets of whitewash should be just like home. Shut up! Still a good guy, Jesse. But Lins. Shut up! Shut up! Gunners, Sutton. Yes, Sergeant Major. Shut up! Shut up! Yes, Give me a cup of chalk. Yes, Sergeant Major. Got a market door, you're on guard. The rest of you get yourself organised. That bash off. Right, chaps. Let's get the bash organised, shall we? Uh, just a minute. I'm the bombardier. I'll give the orders. Well, well come on, chaps. Let's get the bash organised. <laughs> well, this is better to be ours, Ashwood. What, this thing? Oh, what's the matter with it? Well, it's, it's a bit sort of public, isn't it, sir? The men will be able to see us getting undressed. <laughs> <laughs> you just have to do it under a towel, like people do on the sands. I shall do it under my dressing gown. Here you are, Sergeant Major. Thank you, Sergeant. Where are you dossing down? What makes you ask that, lofty boy? You want to keep near me for safety? No, I want to be a long way off. <laughs> now, don't tell me you was afraid of your dear old Sergeant Major. You make a lot of noises at night. Shut up. You keep me awake. Shut up. Snoring. Shut up. <laughs> Somebody's left a steward. He's probably been there for days. Smells all right. Sir, but he's probably made of monkey and tree rat. Monkey and tree rat? <laughs> it's a good recipe. <laughs> Sergeant Major? Yes, lovely boy. Will they be bringing char boys for us to sleep on? No, Gunner Parkins. You see, you is on active service now. And whilst you is on active service, they does not bring you char boys. Because there is no they, only us. Aye. And then... Shut up, Mackintosh, and back on guard! Do we sleep on the floor, then, sir? We sleep on the floor. No pally asses. <laughs> no pally asses. When are we going home, then? Do not worry. I will be showing you all how to improvise a sharp oil from bamboo and a lot of airy string. And when you get up in the morning, if you've got nothing better to do, you can play knots and crosses on each other's backsides. <laughs> oh, we British are so good at putting on brave faces, isn't it? Sergeant Major. Oh. oh, thank you very much indeed. <laughs> <laughs> I've just been having a conference with Captain Ashwood. Yes, we were trying to fathom out why this place didn't look sort of armified. And the Colonel came up with a solution just like that. Oh, yes, sir. Notices. Your bomb, sir. We need a lot of notices. I see, sir. What sort of notices? Well, in the first place, a notice to say it's our HQ. As I thought of that. <laughs> and then another over there to say officers' quarters, and another over here to say warrant officers' mess. What about the men, sir? Oh, they can mess where they like. <laughs> <laughs> a new room for two rooms, 
where every day is a holiday because you are married. <laughs> in that tone of voice, I'm a colonel. That cuts no ice with me, mate. So am I. Oh. <laughs> what do you think, Ashwin? Rather a tricky one, sir. <laughs> but I look at it this way. How do we know he's a colonel? He doesn't look like one. And what's more, he speaks with an Australian accent. Mm. <laughs> how do we know you are a colonel? Or how do I know you're a colonel? You could see his pips. <laughs> Well, what do you want me to do? Have them tattooed on my shoulders? <laughs> yeah, good on you, Chips. Here, cast your gritty eyes over that, mate. Try to make this up. There are the pippies. <laughs> <laughs> he is wearing a colonel's insignia, sir. Uh, frightfully nice to see you. <clears throat> my name's Reynolds, and this is Tippy Ashwood, my adjutant. How do you do? <laughs> Lovely sunny day, isn't it? <laughs> And I am Rangi Ram Saab, bearer to Concert Park. Go away. <laughs> what are you lot doing in our billets? Begging your pardon, sir, but you lot supposed to have vacation in this locality two days previous. And quite right, we had a copy of your orders. Yeah, well, orders are all very well, but we lost one of our mates on the jungle. He went walkabout six weeks ago. Walkabout where? <laughs> well, all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> it's what the abos do. Is your mate an abo? No, abos are aborigines. What's your mate then? Well, he's from Udnadada. <laughs> Is that better? Beg <laughs> pardon, sir. It does not matter where he comes from. Them hoarders come from GHQ. Quite right, Sergeant Major. They were signed by the General himself. Oh, yeah, but he wouldn't expect us to leave Ocker behind, would he? Ocker? Our mate. Oh, from. From Udna Dada. I mean, to hell with the man who'll leave his mate in the jungle just because of some crummy orders. Oh, isn't that lovely? I mean, that, that is true friendship. I mean, you wouldn't find any of our officers Shut saying up. that. <laughs> How do you know he hasn't sort of uh, passed over? Passed over? Yeah, uh, called to a higher place. <laughs> Come again. Beg your pardon, sir, snuffed it. <laughs> oh, you mean keeled over? <laughs> No, no, not Ocker. Besides, we've seen him. And sometimes on a still night, you can hear him calling. What does he say? Oh, it's pathetic, I tell you. Sometimes he cries, beer, beer, ice cold beer. <laughs> Let him move in, sir. Yeah, no, that's not all. What really gets us is when he cries, Sheila, Sheila, <laughs> Sheila! Is that the name of his girl? That's the name of any girl! <laughs> That's very moving as well. Shut up! 
Colonel, sir, <laughs> one time my mother-in-law got lost in jungle. And my wife went looking for her, calling, Ma! Ma! That is Hindu for Mummy, sir. <laughs> no, sir, it nearly break my heart. My mother-in-law has ears like tree bat. <laughs> so she heard my wife and was not lost anymore. Shut up. <laughs> but, but when you see him, why can't you run after him and catch him? Oh, no, no. After six weeks in the jungle, he's like a kangaroo. You know, we even tried to lure him with a saucer of beer. <laughs> but the tigers got there first. <laughs> tigers? Tigers? You've done it again, haven't you? <laughs> you never said nothing about no tigers! Steady, Bombardier. Oh, it's too much, it really is too much! We've got scorpions, pythons, cobras, snakes, leeches, mosquitoes as big as flying fortresses, and now we tell us that we've got tigers! I want to go home! I want to go back to the land! <laughs> that went all over me. <laughs> Oh dear, how sad, never mind. What are you going to do next? Well, I reckon we might get boozed up and then get our heads down. Care to join us? Uh, no, thanks, Orphan. <clears throat> well, please yourself. Here, come on, fellas. You see that, sir? They've taken over our basher. I see, that's a bit thick. Sergeant Major, there's a big Australian sitting in my bed. <laughs> Goldilocks, we knows. Uh, couldn't we complain to someone, sir? Well, if they don't take any notice of GHQ, I mean, who can we complain to? Colonel, sir, I will go with Chawala and Pankawala, and we will get three big chatties and fill them full of big, red, stingy, bitey ants. And we will bar the ants on the floor of the basher, sir. They will crawl into their pants and make them run like ruddy damn hell. <laughs> Sorry, Sergeant Major. I will shut up and try not to be clever, Dicky. Excuse me, Sergeant Major. Why don't we help them to find their little friend and then maybe they might go home? We've got to do something, sir. I've got it. Let's have breakfast. Shut up! <laughs> sir, you can have beautiful, hard, very cheap char while you do your big tink. That sounds rather a good idea. Yes, all right. Have char now, chaps, and we'll have breakfast later. I've made some bacon out of a ferret. A ferret? At least I think it was a ferret. He smoked it all night over the bark of a banyan tree. Come on, lads, and some porridge here if you fancy it. Sir, you do I say, look the head, yes, eh? Paper hangers best. I've got a wheel, sir. Now, you've probably been sleeping in a damn bed. <laughs> I mean an idea about how to catch their meat. Uh-huh. Well, you know the concert party have got their costumes? Yeah. Why don't we get one of the men to dress up as this girl, Sheila? What for? Well, then we can put him in the jungle and use him as sort of bait. That is correct, sir. That is what we British do. <laughs> when we shoot tiger. That's the sort of thing. It's the best idea I've heard for years. <laughs> <laughs> yes, quite. Better ask for a volunteer, Sergeant Miller. Beg your pardon, sir. I do not think that this is a suitable prospect for volunteering. I think we should have a sort of selection board, sir, to get the right man. That's it. We'll have an audition. Good. Right! Get probably fell in! Move your side, move your side! Come on, come on, come on! I am waiting for you! Stand probably at ease! Squad, down! Turn that ice! Right. Now the officers will select a man to dress up as the girl Sheila to lure the hotty mate out of the jungle. Not you, Bella, not you! <laughs> <laughs> now when your name is called, you will come smartly to attention and take one pace forward. Get the clock! Sir, what do you think? Personally, I find him rather unattractive, sir. <laughs> Next. Get the ribbons! Sir. Awfully common sort of face, isn't it? <laughs> Ordinary, to say the least. Not only that, sir, there is the small matter of the perfume of the smoked ferret. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's quite out of the question. Next. Get the parkings! Sir. Ah. Totally unsuitable, sir. But why? He was absolutely wizard when he was dressed up as Zazu Pitts. <laughs> Fine looking boy, sir, of course, but uh, the shoulders is far too masculine. Next. And a second! <laughs> second! Oh, I'm here. Ridiculous. <laughs> 
impossible. Next. Telegram! Sir? Rather too studious, don't you think? I don't know, sir. Might appeal to the man who goes for the blue stocking type. Uh, <laughs> I shouldn't think Ocker is a blue stocking, you know. Next. Bobby and Beaumont! Sir! Oh, Sergeant Major Saab, when Beaumont Saab dresses up as woman, Charwala thinks she's so beautiful, he doesn't know whether he's round the bend or on the town. <laughs> you tell them untrue lie? You'll know you're this way and that way, like that he talks through. Your mother was a dirty dovey woman. And that is false, like your father's teeth. I bet you tell Shut up! <laughs> I must admit, sir, he makes an absolutely first-class Ginger Rogers. Hmm. <laughs> On the other hand, we can't get too close in case we frighten this chappy away. So he'll have to grapple single-handed with this Australian madman. <laughs> I wouldn't be very good at that, sir. <laughs> Perhaps we ought to consider what type of woman these Aussies go for. Oh, well, generally speaking, sir, I'd say they was inclined to the big, busty, well-built, barmaid type. Gunner Macintosh? Gunner Macintosh. I am the Bertels. You are the Tops. How long's he been gone, fellas? Four hours. Saab in jungle, that is long enough for much naughty mischief. Cool, I hope he shows up soon. Me too. I don't think I like Australians sitting in my bed. You don't know where they've been. <laughs> I'm worried sick about him. Absolutely worried sick. He went out so noble, so brave. His head held high, his chest thrust out. <laughs> That's so his wig wouldn't drop off and his boobs fall through his skirt. <laughs> You should have sent somebody with him. It was irresponsible. That's what it was, irresponsible. Shut up. He only has to blow his whistle. You've martyred him, thrown him to the lions. Shut up. He can look after himself, does he, or does he not do a strong man act in your show? Why, well, yes. Well, does he or does he not bend iron bars with his bare hands? Yes. Then he can bend a Australian. Sergeant Major. Oh, I think this is Macintosh coming now, sir. Good boy, very alert. <laughs> sir, sir, Gunner Macintosh is returning now, sir. He was spotted by Gunner Parkins, sir. He's a very alert soldier, that one, sir. I think we should keep an eye on him, sir. I know I said this before, sir, but I do think he was... <laughs> <laughs> Did you see him? Aye, I saw him. Well, why did you not grapple with him? Well, I could hear him creeping up ahead me, you know, in the undergrowth, till he was about 20 yards away. <gasps> How awful. What did you do? Well, I turned and gave him an encouraging smile. <laughs> and what happened then? He ran away back into the jungle. <laughs> I wonder what we did wrong. Well, if you ask me, sir, a man would have to be in the jungle a damn sight longer than six months to fancy Gunner Macintosh. Mr. Sab, you feel like this, Bride of Frankenstein. <laughs> you cheeky coolie. Go and pull your punker. <laughs> he never passed for a woman in a thousand years. It's an art, and it's a craft. Yes, I agree with the bombardier, sir. It is a heart, and it is a craft. And it helps if you is a puff. <laughs> I resent that. Why don't you do it, Gloria? No, no, I won't. Certainly not. I'm not going to throw myself into the arms of, of a sex-starved jolly swagman, and that is final. <laughs> yes, we could do it like the big game hunters do when they're after tigers. We could uh, take up hides in trees and things. And Gloria Saab could be good. Betty, <laughs> they drive a stick into the ground and tie the goat's leg to it. What do you think, son, Mirror? <laughs> Be all for it, sir, if we can drive a stake into the ground and tie his foot to it. <laughs> <laughs> Little joke, sir. Uh, get Bombardier Beaumont and we'll have a word with him. Beaumont! Sir, bat wat nahi, balke karenge. Twist is ready, arm. <laughs> you are too beautiful, my dear, to be true. And I am too much to allow with beauty. Oh, ho, oh, oh. ho. Gloria, you look marvellous. Well, I. I must say, I have gone to a lot of trouble, and uh, I think it's paid off. 
Do not worry, Sir Demeter Saab. I have made sure while I have cold bath. <laughs> His figure looks absolutely ravishing. Don't you think so, sir? Moderately. <laughs> Listen carefully. Gunner McIntosh will take us to the place where Ocker was last seen. That's right, isn't it, Sergeant? Perfectly correct, sir. The new bombardier will walk up and down, singing as best you can, and flaunting yourself. You will also give a come in the look every six paces. We will be hiding in the trees, in pairs, every 20 yards. Sergeant Major, what do I do if he uh, comes up to me and... Well, you know. <laughs> you give him a bear hug. We will drop from the trees. Like a stone. Shut <laughs> up! Right, prepare to move. Right, you heard what the commanding officer said. Let's have you. Oh, by the way, sir, shall we ask them Australians to come with us? Well, what are they doing now? Bashing their charpoys, sir. What? Uh, snoring, sir. Oh, no, no, no. Let them have a good sleep. And when we come back, they can take up their rocker and go. Very good, sir. Right, come on, let's have you. Jolly, jolly, come on, you charwoman, let me have you. Do it, sir. Gee, it is great after being out late, walking my baby back home. Arm in arm over meadow and farm, walking my baby back home. My shoes are gonna be ruined. <laughs> That's my stocking. Shut up. Gloria Saab. If Ozzy Saab has been six weeks in jungle, he will not notice his small ladder in his stocking. Sorry, Major. The runabout here. I was over there and he was here when he saw me. Then he ran away. There are his footprints. He must have gone a hell of a lick. Do you blame him? Very witty boy, very witty. Got a party for very witty then, sir. Sir, if we were hunting the tiger, we would tie the goat there. And then we would hide in these trees. Good. Let's deploy our forces. Right into the trees, boys. I feel sort of naked and vulnerable. Don't have any qualms, Bombardier. Everywhere you go, friendly eyes will be watching you. <laughs> Moonlight becomes me. It goes with my hair. I certainly know the right things to wear. It's damn quiet, sir. Mm. A bit too quiet. Make a noise like a gibbon. Yes. <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> oh, yes. Side Inside his house, it's with me. Oh. Pretty dress. Oh, is this not beautiful? The Aussie man, Akar, is in love. You know, in your holy book, there is a piece which say, you must love your neighbor as if he were yourself. And there is an old Hindu proverb which say, if you kiss a thief, count your teeth. <laughs> I'm thinking that between these two is the great truth. Boys to entertain you. Boys to entertain you. 